how's it going guys I hope all's well in your world my world guys the man's watching out for me guys he's watching out for Steve -O, okay why because I asked for help I did I asked for help I told him I said I need help got all kind of issues still got some issues hypertension I've been um, uh, was doing great with no hypertension medication whatsoever but I was poisoned literally poisoned by our government mm -hmm. the Fauci shot yes people are dying I'm hearing all kind of stuff I was I was doing you know you guys know me for you, you've known me for a long time you do know I'm on TRT that's testosterone replacement therapy well with that you've got to monitor your blood thickness and when I get that hemoglobin above uh, 15 I have to have a pint removed it's no big deal I get a steak dinner out of the deal guys I sit down, it takes 15 minutes, 20 tops. You get to look at some real cute girls in there and they all they all come around and joking with me. We have fun in there. Anyway, yeah, I have to I have to do that. You have to do that when you go on TRT if you have low testosterone. If you're down in the low 200s, you better get to your doctor. You got to go through a crazy urologist to get this done and why why a primary guy does not handle this I don't know but they like to spread the wealth around spread it around this is the whole system guys is so corrupt and so crazy and government handled and this and that yeah we gotta gotta be smart here I didn't want this shot I got conned into it it's over you know it's done whatever so I'm, I'm keeping my pressure normalized with medication that I just totally totally I hate but with help from the man uh, I think I'm gonna be all right okay but uh, anyway yeah uh, my back issues guys I asked the man please help me keep my bees strong I want to make honey. They're, they, it's about over right now, okay? It's about over. Uh, the cabbage palm. We've gone through a bunch of different crops. I got one left, and it's usually primo. It's not the it's not the best greatest table honey in the world, but it's I like it myself. A little honey I eat. And people I've given it to and sold it to love it. It's called Brazilian pepper. Pepper honey. Okay. Anyway, that's coming up September 15th. So here we are. Uh, what is today? Today is uh, Tuesday, July 30. On the 4th. I got to go back into these colonies to my very best primo colonies and we're going to steal frames, eggs, brood, what we need, the magic right there to make a two frame nuke. I know the frames I want to make a magic two frame nuke to make the best queen, okay, and we're going to feed that thing. We're going to feed the heck out of these things. I'm going to get her hatched. Hopefully she comes back from a mating flight. Hopefully she starts pounding eggs at that 30 day period. And when she does, she's coming out going in a five. I'm gonna pour the food to them. I'm gonna blow them up. They're going into eights. I hope to have some ready. Uh, this, I got some coming off real quick here. So I'll have a whole month to pump them up. I'm gonna throw them on pepper. Let them pump up. So anyway. Yeah, so back to my back. I asked the man, please help. Uh, I've got strength with my jacking, normalizing my testosterone, right? 
getting that right. My, my back was killing me. And I got a message. I got a message from the man. Mm -hmm. Been listening to Ken Berry, all the stuff he's been talking about. Anthony Chafee, Sean Baker, Sarah Salvador. There's a laundry list of them out there, guys. They're all on the same page. These are beautiful people. Trust me. Like Barack says, trust me. If you want to, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor, right? No, guys, you can trust me more than you can him, okay? All right. That said, I got a message. I got a message. The man said go on a lion diet. Lion diet. It's carnivore diet. That's all it is. It's carnivore. But what I'm doing is cutting out all, all fruits, vegetables. Zero. Guess what's happening, guys? I'm getting strong as an ox. And I'm going to the gym every day. Only do a month. I'm only in there an hour, guys. If you can't do an hour in that gym a day, there's something wrong, guys. There's something wrong. Put down the cigarettes. Put down the beer. Throw it all in a trash can. Put down the pizza. Put all down all the candy. That stupid the ice cream. All the stupid. And get it out of your life. And get stupid people out of your life. Okay? And just hang out with a guy like this. Okay? Alright? Chilling, baby. We're chilling. You like him? Yeah. Guess who protected him? Guess who protected him the other day? You got it, the man. So, what's happening with Steve-O, I have to be strong, guys, to be a beekeeper. If you can't take the heat, you better get out of the kitchen. Yeah, it's going to kill you. But you can be strong if you do it right. And I think I'm doing it right, guys. I'll tell you what. I go in there, I hit that treadmill, I do 3.1 mile an hour. That's just a brisk walk. Yeah. I don't run on that treadmill. I got a little girl that comes in, assistant, comes up, she sees me, she comes in and gets in the rig next to me. Then we're BSing while she's running. Little 42 year old girl, she's, she's, a, she's a cute little girl. Married. No, I'm not hitting on her, guys. I'm just being friendly. Stop it. Just you, you guys. You guys' minds are getting getting sick. I'll tell you what. You guys are getting sick. But anyway, she runs. God, she runs like seven miles while she's talking to me. Yeah. We just we we discuss some fun stuff. Anyway, getting away from her. I do the mile. I go over to an ab machine, guys. I hit that ab machine. You just sit down in this ab machine. You grab two levers, one on each side. I set the deal, the weight at a 100. I crank out crunches with this machine. You grab both hands, grab crunches. I do thir I do four rep. I would do four sets, 30 reps for three sets. And then the last one, I take the weight peg out and I shove it into 130. I do 40 on that. I've been doing that every friggin' day. Guess what, guys? Sleeping good at night. No back pain. I wake up in the middle of the night. That screwed up L5 I've got. Nerve coming out of that dude. Coming down my leg. Settling into my kneecap. Feels like there's demons in there pounding on that thing with ball peen hammers. I gotta get up start walking around. Probably go get some aspirin. This and that. All of None of that no more, guys. It's all gone away. It slowly started drifting away. And I realized what's happening. It's my abs. You're reducing all the belly fat with a carnivore diet or lion diet. And what is that? It's red meat, salt, and water. That's it. I don't even drink. The only thing I drink, I drink coffee in the morning with my eggs and bacon or eggs and sausage, right? There's no potatoes in there. There's no bread going on for Steve-O. No, there's none of that. None of that stupid nonsense, guys. I'm telling you. 
It's so simple. This lifestyle of mine is so simple and so good and works so great. It's unreal. Now, this hypertension scenario with this Fauci shot, I was off all medications, like I've told you before, for over two years. Doing fine. Everything. No cholesterol medication. Nothing. It's all garbage. Poison what they're pumping in people. I was off of that until I took that stupid shot. That little Fauci, that little gremlin, okay? I got that shot from the gremlin. My own fault. I didn't listen. I didn't listen to my gut feelings on this, okay? I got tricked into it. Talking to the little bloodletting lady down there where I go to One Blood to get this pint sucked out of me every other month. And I got brought it up to her. Uh, she said, I noticed your hypertension, blood pressure's up a little bit. I said, yeah, it runs, it's running up there, but I'm getting it down with medication. It's, it's fine with medication. But I, I told her the story and she goes, she said that was a population control shot as far as I'm concerned. She said, I'm, I'm hearing all kind of people stuff young people dropping dead with that. I had a friend drop dead with it. Perfectly healthy, never smoked, never drank a bit in his whole life. He was athletic. Got the shot, two shots and a booster. A week or two after the booster, he died in his sleep. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway, I said to the girl, did you get a shot? She said, yeah. Yeah, they kind of tricked me into it. It was money. Get this, guys. It was money. She said they offered her more money if she'd take the shot. It's all it's all corrupt, guys, to the max. And she knows it was corrupt. She said, they just flat ass told me, you don't have we're not gonna push you into that shot, okay? But if you take the shot, you're gonna get more on your paycheck. So what do you got to lose? I asked this little girl how old was she? She was 20, she's 27 guys, 27. Yeah. So anyway, hey, I'm selling some honey, guys. I'm selling honey. Yeah, old steve -O's selling honey. Shut this truck off here. There it is. Look how pretty that stuff is, guys. Look at that stuff. It's pretty, and I had Miss Daisy make a little label on the back. A little caution label, you see it? Yeah. Caution, don't feed to, uh, do not feed raw honey to children under one year old, okay? This is raw honey. People are loving this stuff. I don't have a whole lot of it. I only have, like, I've sold quite a bit. I only have 17 bottles left. Here it is. And I'm not going to get any more. I'm not robbing any more. There's some honey in there. There is some more in there. But I'm not going to rob it out. I'm leaving it in. And uh, the, the nature of this beast, look how it is. It's a high moisture honey. This stuff is running 20.4. 20.4. Yeah. It seems to be stable. I got a jar in there. I'm just experimenting. I'm on the shelf. I'm going to see what it does. But anyway, I brought up four more. My plan is I got to show you my box. Yeah, I got to show you my box, guys. I think you'll like this. I think you're going to like this. Okay, guys, as you're traveling down the road here to my mailbox, there's the local honey sign. Oh, look at here, guys. Look at here. Look at my box. And I moved it back a little bit. You can see I moved it back a little bit from my mailbox. Yeah. And what I got here is just a really high-tech here deal. I got a little eyelet. And I tied it to a... I tied it to a piece of number number 30 30 tarred nylon as you can see here yeah here's my box 
there's the money box right and then you can go venmo if you want i got a card holder here if you want one of my cards yeah steve's natural honey price 10 each huh and then now i got a little sign dangling below there cash venmo accepted details inside the box yeah Yeah, guys. Pretty cool, huh? I'm loving it. I am loving it. It's like a little padlock here. A little padlock here. Then drop the money in here. It hit me on a Venmo. I put a little cable in here. A little 16th snare cable. Yeah. I took uh, five. I drilled a 3 8 hole through the, right through the post. And I put a 5 16th. Two of them. Uh, they were five inches long. This is half inch wood, by the way. Five inches long, and I put a, a three inch washer, and then a five sixteenths washer nut on it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, some jealous uh, asshole or something might come by one day with a baseball bat, beat the crap out of my sign. But if they do, they do. You know. Some more political junk mail yeah so if you're in my area and you need some honey steve o's honey just stop in i'm at 9633 sunbeam drive newport ritchie 34654 stop in and get a bottle of honey every night what i'm doing with this guys <clears throat> every night is it, it this box is going to be open this box is going to be open when i pull out to go to the gym about 7 a.m I'll unlock it. I'll unlock it, guys. And do that. Okay? So any brain dead will come any brain dead guy can come by, do this, come in. Am I gonna get ripped off on any of this stuff, guys? Who knows? But I think I honestly think, guys. I honestly think the man's watching me. I do. I really do. I think he's watching me and protecting old Steve-O. So, anyway, quick video today. I didn't want to burn your ears out too much with carnivore diet, but do me a favor, get on it. You, if you're going to be a beekeeper for very long, you've got to be strong because we're humping, we're humping boxes. I'm only going to get up to 20, but you know... I'll say that this year and then next year. I'm probably going to have 40 boxes out there. But anyway, you guys know how I roll. Anyway, yeah, I just had to, I was kind of bragging, bragging on my box. My son did this for me. He's got the CNC machine. And uh, pretty cool the way he did it. If anybody's interested, contact me, email me. I can shoot you over to him. You guys can work out the details. He did this sign too. He did that. And he said, Dad, that this possibly will fade in time, you know, with sun, UVs. Uh, maybe. He says, if it does, I'll burn you out another one. I don't care. He said, it was nothing to do on that CN machine. CNC machine, he sets it up, hits autopilot, and it burns this out. And that, he said, will not. I forget the material he said he made that out of. But that will not fade. So, anyway. Yeah. That sign there was cheap. I got that at Man Lake. And then you put it on a little wire, you know, stand. Uh, you know, strong. Uh, you know, that probably get ate up with UVs in, in a year. But, uh that picks them up they see that coming down the road and they hit that and then they come up and then they see this see simple setup you know you got to keep it simple guys for old steve though okay you just got to do it i'm going to catch you later see you on the next one be happy be strong we got to keep getting it on keep making them bees keep making that honey guys god bless you see you